and media. Now retail is PostNet. PostNet is a well-known brand. Um, all the other brands, by the way, in the business uh, talk directly to specific customers and therefore don't have a brand franchise that is well known in the market. Unlike PostNet, which has to talk to a broad, broad customer range and therefore will be a brand that, that most people will uh, know of uh, by being exposed to the, the advertising and that type of thing. PostNet is a franchise. It has 242 stores around the country. Um, it finds itself in the uh, logistics business because the principal part of its business, in fact, is courier. However, it presents itself to the market as a business service center, targeting specifically the SME sector, which is a, is a growing area, and we know that uh, it has to be an area that's going to grow even more vigorously going forward, given the fact that that's where most of the employment creation in this country is going to come from. So, PostNet sits in a very strong position. And uh, it is a little bit disappointing that in this period uh, it showed comparatively static um, revenue and operating profit growth. But that is ex explained by the loss of a particularly profitable product called fax to email In fact, management hasn't replaced that product and it's already clawed up 25 to 30 percent of the revenue that, that was lost. Uh, and in fact, uh, in terms of the, of, the, of the comparative staticness of the, of the revenue, given the fact that we lost that product, we made up the difference. So in fact, post it grew during this period and we're looking for further growth to come as we go forward. It's annuity income, it's a defensive asset for OneLogix, it's very comfortably sits in the group, doesn't consume a lot of management time, although there's a very skilled management team that runs it. Um, so we're quite comfortable with that business and the opportunities look good. Media, it's particularly small because it consists of one company called Magazine, also a very well-run company that imports international magazines. There are some local magazines that they distribute as well. They import them, they warehouse them, and they distribute it to the retail trade, principally in the major metropolitan areas. Well-known brands, um, uh, strong business, uh, good administrative processes. In a, in, a, in a business that's quite complicated with a sale return type of process. Also sits comfortably in the group uh, and uh, we also look forward to seeing some growth coming from this business uh, in the years ahead.